In the last video, I forgot to go through the definitions of inelastic demand and elastic demand, so I'm going to do it right now. So inelastic demand is pretty much all the necessities that are needed that are um, that you will buy regardless of price. So for example, food and shelter. We all need food and shelter to survive, so regardless of the price, we will buy it. So the so the quantity of demand won't change. Now elastic demand tends to be the stuff that we don't need in order to survive. They tend to be the stuff that we splurge uh, go on a that we splurge on that we usually uh, buy when you go on a shopping spree and examples of these would be automobiles and furniture when the price changes uh, we could uh, we either buy more or buy less or buy the same that's the kind of uh, things that represent elastic demand now onto today's video perfectly elastic demand happens when the percentage change in quantity demanded is infinitely larger and the percentage uh, change in price barely changes and in this case the price elasticity of demand is infinite so here's the graph that represents that it's just a horizontal line a horizontal demand curve and that represents perfectly elastic demand so think of our price uh, price elasticity so it's the change in um, the percentage change the percentage change in uh, quantity over the percentage change in price. Now, let's say that um, our price changes by one. That's barely a change. And our quantity changes by like 50 grand or more, 50k plus or more. In this case, the price elasticity of demand is inf infinite because the change in quantity increases to some big number and could be still increasing and the price barely changes so when we actually do the calculations we come up with an infinite number now let's go through an example of how this actually happens so this is an example we have a soft drink of uh, soft drinks from two campus machines located side by side so we have a coke machine and a 7 up machine and Let's say, let's say what? Let's say that they offer the same price. So let me change colors, and let's say that they offer the same price. Let's say that both Coke and Seven Up are the same price. So, so the soft drinks, uh, the soft drink machines offer soft drinks for the same price. So let's disregard preference for now. Let's just think that these two machines offer soda. So, like, so we're not thinking about uh, each person's favorite drink. So, in this case, if they're the same price, then both machines, both machines will get customers, will get some customers, some customers. Okay, so now that we've uh, said that they're the same price we it's logical to think that both machines will have the will get some customers so people won't have a preference for one machine over the other now let's say that the price of coke is ten dollars while the price of seven up is one dollar now in this case this case in this case one machine the the pop for one machine is greater than the pop for the other machine so the, the price for coke is greater than 7up so in this case nobody will buy from the coke machine so nobody will buy at 10 nobody buys at 10 and everybody will buy 7up so nobody buys coke and everybody buys 7up everybody buys 7up so what we found out is that if one machine's price is higher than the others even by a small amount so let's say that um let's let's say that this is not ten dollars let's say that it is one dollar and one cent even by a small amount then this coke machine will get nobody so even if um the coke machine is uh, the coke machine's price is one cent greater. No one will buy from the machine with a higher price. So 
the soft drinks from the two machines are perfect substitutes. So let's just say that the soft drink machines, soft drink machines are perfect substitutes. Perfect substitutes. And this this demand for soda that has perfect substitute is perfectly elastic. And that's all I want to talk about in this video. Um, if you haven't already, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.